All right, guys, business-related mathematics. This always makes me laugh, but anyway. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is percentage change. Now, we're looking at the discount. So if you've got a discount, you guys already know. How many of you go to the shops and you say, right, there's the price, but they've got a discount for me. They're going to give me 10% off or 20% off or 15% off or whatever they do. Every single one of you does this automatically. You work it out in your head. It's $100 and they're giving you 10% off. How much are you saving? $10. $10. How did you do that? You did it using mathematics, but it's so natural in here that you don't even think about your formulas. That's why business related mathematics is one of the easiest things that for us to teach because you guys do it every day. You just don't know it. Now, discount. This is what you did. You got the discount in your head. You divided it by 100 because it's a percentage, isn't it? 10%. And then you times it by the original price and you said, right, I'm going to get $10 off. Well, if it's $100, take away the $10, that's my new price of $90. That's what you did in your head, but you did it so quickly that you didn't even know you did it. Now, it doesn't matter if it's 100 or 200 or 300 or 150 or 113 dollars or 112. That's why you use calculators. Now, we could have done it like that, worked out the discount first, and then taken it away from the original price to get the new price, or we can do it in one hit to work out the new price. We take away the percentage because it's a discount. If it was an increase, would we take away? What would we do if we're increasing? We add. So this is the original price, 100% of it, and we're taking away this discount. The example I gave you was 10%. So it ended up being 90% times the original price, which you got at $90. Okay? So that's what you're doing very, very quickly in your head, and you're doing it every day. Any questions so far? Let's look at example one, part eight. It says, how much is saved if a 25% discount is offered on an item costing $8? I don't know, nothing costs $8. Maybe something in Kmart these days. <laughs> All right? We've got the low, low prices, everyday low prices. You can get things for 10, under $10 quite easy. For $8 is, is it. We're going to Kmart, guys. We're buying, I don't know, a kettle. We're going to get a kettle for under $8. Right? A kettle. We're going to save 25%. 25%. How much discount are they giving us? How are we going to work this out? Discount. So we're getting the discount. We get the percent. 25% discount. 25 over 100, because that's what the percentage is. And we times by the price. So what's a quarter? Because 25% discount is a quarter, isn't it? 50% is a half, 75% is three quarters. A quarter of eight. What's a quarter of eight? Two dollars. You don't even need your calculator. Two dollar discount is what we get. This kid was not costing us eight dollars. Remember, we're in Kmart. Everyday low prices. What's the new price? Six dollars. Six dollars. So the new price, I'm going to start cheating now, in P for new price, equals the eight dollars minus the discount of two dollars. This kettle is going to cost us six dollars. Anything hard? Stuff you do all day. Now here comes the shops. The shops go, no, I'm going to do a discount here, but I don't want to lose money. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to fool all these people. I'm going to increase my prices, and then I'm going to put a sticker that says a decrease on me. So how much do I need to increase my prices to still make money? So this is what they do. Not necessarily true, so don't hold me against it. We can't use this against the court of law. Okay? So this is what they do. They say, right, I want to increase it. I want to increase by a certain percentage. Everything is the same as a decrease except it's an increase. So we put a plus. So we can work out our increase. Still R divided by 100 because it was a percentage, that's why we divide by 100 times the original price. And then add the original price and the increase together to get the new price. We're adding because we're doing an increase. While the discount, we subtract it because we're doing a discount. Or we can use this formula. 100% is the original price. We're adding a certain percentage, so 100% plus R% times the original price. 
Either way, if they don't ask you to work out what the increase is, you can use this formula straight away. Okay? Any questions before we continue with the example? Petrol. We all love petrol. I love petrol because uh, mine is car. Here we go. We've got petrol increases by 10%. What is the amount of the increase when the petrol is? It's roughly about 140 cents per litre these days. Some mostly a bit more, but let's say it's 140 cents. How much is this petrol going to go up? You can do it in your head. It's 140 cents. 10% increase. How much is it going up? 14 cents. 14 cents. 10. Divided by 100 times that. That's what the increase is. Increase. Equals 10% times the 140. We are getting 14 cents per litre increase. We can do that very quickly. Cancel the zero there. Cancel the zero there. 14 cents increase. What's the cost of this new petrol? Yeah, the new, sorry, the new price of the petrol is what it was costing 140 cents plus 14 cents, so it is now 154 cents per litre. Now, if they ask you to put it in dollars, what would you be writing? $1.54. $1.54 per litre, the cents goes now. Okay? Which is roughly what they do. If you look at petrol stations, you know, it's usually about 154 cents, then it drops down a certain amount, then you get your discount vouchers, you're probably paying for about 140. Right? So something along those lines. But any questions about discount or increasing an item, whatever it is? Okay, let's continue. If we want to work out percentage change, we can do that. Whether it's the discount or the increase, which is what we've just found, we can work out the change in it. Right? And this is what they do a lot. The rules, percentage discount is the discount, so the discount that we found over here, okay, the discount, we divide it, by the original price, the original price of the item, and to turn it into a percentage, we've always got to times it by 100. And if it's the increase, percentage increase, exactly the same rule, this time we're looking at the increase. We divide it by, again, the original price, we times it by 100 to turn it into a percentage. Any questions there? Look at the difference. Don't get these two confused because if you do, you're going to get the wrong answer. Example 3 says, if the price of a book is reduced from $25 to $20, what percentage discount has been applied? Now we know it's a discount because it's gone from $25 to $20. Okay, so it's definitely gone down. So it's this discount. So first thing is to get this percentage discount, and I write like this, percentage discount equals the discount divided by the original price times 100%. How much is the discount? So how much did it go down? $5. Went down $5. What is the original price of this book? $25. Times it by 100 so if we work it out, we can use this our calculator, but if we can do it, 5 goes into that 5 times. 100 divided by 5 is what? 20. 20. So this discount is 20%. That's the amount of discount that's been applied. So if you work out 20% of that and take it away, you should get $20. Any questions with part A? Part B, price of a book has increased this time from $20 to $25. What percentage increase has been applied? So this time it's the increase. So again, percentage, increase. This time it equals the increase divided by the original price times 100. What's the increase in this book? 
Come on, guys, what's the increase? Five dollars. It went from twenty to twenty-five dollars. So it went up by five dollars. What's the original price of this book? Twenty dollars. And we times it by a hundred. And if we work that out, anyone tell me what we get? Twenty-five. Twenty-five percent. So the increase was twenty-five percent. It's still five dollars. This one was a change of five dollars. This one is a change of five dollars. But this discount was twenty percent. This increase was twenty-five percent. So please don't assume that they're the same just because the change is the same amount. Is that clear? Yeah. Any questions there? Right, right up in the next one.